He's here. Who is it? <laughs> I'm here. Grimmy, he's here, son. <laughs> Tate has been waiting to finish. Come on, let's go for a walk. <laughs> Webby Sports Roundup here in sunny Tenerife, down in the south. We're in La Caleta. Me pal, Grimmy, and me other pal, Tatey, ex Motherwell, ex Notts County, ex. Where else? Notts County, you mad? No, 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 Grimsby. Well, I, knew, I knew it was one of them, black, black and white. And white. <laughs> I knew it was black and white. I'm taking a Vicky. This is what it's all about, TT, isn't it? All right. And uh, his last club was St. Mirren, the Paisley Boys. We used to have somebody, yeah, we used to have somebody, yeah, the Buddies, that's right. We used to have um, somebody come in our pub, uh, big St. Mirren fans. They were lovely. Right. As you all know, we're doing a 15 question, 15 answers, as Andy Warhol said everybody gets 15 minutes of fame now this man has already had 15 minutes of fame but he's not had the 15 <laughs> minutes of fame with me webby in south of tenery no, he, may, he may have played football you played at hampton haven't you yeah yeah i knew you a bloody i'm not i knew you i've been a few times don't get big headed with me <laughs> hey you're in my money now son so i've got various questions we're going to ask him and uh, we've got more to ask him after let's go down here sort of thing before we get um, shouted by beautiful taking, taking me down the scenic I'll take you down the scenic beautiful day kid isn't it oh it's beautiful right? let's have a look at him let's make sure he's here let's have a look how's it going team hey pleasure to be here great good. to see Webby as always you know good looking but good looking bugger any hey I think we're, are we going down the right way yeah I think we're going down here look at him pumping unbelievable right question time because his last club was St Mir and you also played at Cambridge United I did yeah Cambridge for a few years and Grimsby yeah and then obviously came up to Scotland and probably enjoyed my time in Scotland the most. Is it Gala Shields you were born? I was born in Gala Shields, yes. Yeah, so kind of went back, went down to England and then back up to Scotland. Where is Gala Shields sort of geographically? Is it near Dundee, Glasgow? What's no, it's Scottish border, so it's, um, it's the best way. It's probably closer. It's obviously on the border of England and Scotland. Oh, gotcha, okay. It's the best way to describe it. Berwick, Brecon. We should go Brecon, is Not it? Not far from Berwick, to be fair. Berwick, yeah, yeah. And that's like um, English, Scottish, yeah, yeah. isn't it? So yeah, yeah. On the, uh, there's a few people down here today, isn't there? Yeah. This is the reason why you took me down here, isn't it? Shush. Good morning. Good morning. Oh, good afternoon. Oh, my missus would love that spot, I tell you. Oh, but listen, <laughs> forget the questions. Let's just have a look around here. That's a, yeah, you know you know what I'm talking about. It's a nice, not, I don't mind saying it, it's a nice young lady around here. So um, if my hands start shaking, you know why. But listen, I got me gimbal. Morning, how are you? I talked to every Tom, Dick and Harry. Hang on. There's a lifeguard there as well. Yeah, Unbelievable. Right. Yeah, it's yeah, going to be beautiful. Right. 20, what do you mean? 25, 26 degrees? Yeah, it's boiling today, absolutely. Beautiful, isn't it? Let's have a look. Before we start the questions, let's have a look. Let's turn it around. Look at that. There he is, yeah. He's still there. I can't get rid of him. <laughs> Grimmy, can't get rid of him. We haven't even started the questions yet. Right, let's go up this way. It's a lovely corner, isn't it? Yeah, it's nice. It's all vacations, this is VVs. Oh, they're all uh, little holiday lets. Holiday lets. Yeah, they're all holiday lets, these are. Look at that there. Unbelievable, that is it. Let's go around to there. Let's click that. Right, let's off we go. Right, we get right, here we go. Let's get going. Right. Who was your first, before we question, who was your first club you played in? Because you said you were going to play rugby or football with your dad, gave you the opportunity. Yeah, so when I, I lived in Glasgow, uh, which is a big rugby town. Yeah. Um, I think for football, but more so rugby. And uh, me and my brother used to play rugby quite a bit. Yeah. And then. We were kind of between the two, so Dad would take us to football one day and then rugby the next. And yeah. I think he just had enough and was like, right, yeah. pick one sport, lads. Yeah. Um, and it just so happened the World Cup was on, football World Cup, so we picked football. Gotcha. So it might have been a little bit different if it was the uh, rugby World Cup. Well, if you went to if you went to in the rugby situation, yeah. you'd be earning less money than you would be in the football situation. Okay, because I'm not sure about that one. <laughs> <laughs> my, my, my <laughs> right, listen. Here we go. Let's let's get on with it. Let's get on with the questions. Let's go around here. Let's get here we go. Right. Let's talk about uh, St Mirren first. We'll have a little bit of mother. Well, someone a bit of both. Right. Your favourite current player playing for St Mirren at the moment. For them at the minute, um, I'd probably say Marcus Fraser. Um, I was going to say, don't say Grimmy. No, definitely not Grimmy. Flipping out. Uh, yeah. Marcus Fraser, he's the captain at the minute. Yeah. And, uh, I kind of, I, I like him just because he's probably similar to me in the sense of, uh, you know, you know what you're going to get from him. Yeah. It's like seven out of ten every week. Just yeah. Yeah. Great attitude, great professional. Yeah. Kind of just, I like that. And you, you were basically a right fullback, weren't you? Yeah. So I was, um, actually, Marcus came in. 
he was right full back as well. Yeah. So I was playing right full back, and then he came in, and I went to left full back, and he was right full back. That was, yeah, that was that was I was always a right full back when I played yeah. right midfield, up and down the wing, etc., etc. Yeah. Okay, right. Um, your favourite player of all time. My favourite player. I of think all time. whether it's Saint Mirren, whether it's Motherwell, or or whatever. Or just in like the whole scope of football. Yeah, yes. Yeah. I would probably say my favourite player of all time would be Roy Keane. Yeah, and that's Roy a great Keane. that's a great shout, isn't it? Um, big he, Man United fan. And yeah. Growing up, he was. Oh, uh, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang <laughs> yeah, on. Slip yeah, I, you slipped that one in because I didn't realise until a few minutes ago. Having a couple of beers, you said you're a big Man United fan. Yeah. So where did that come from? Uh, just my dad. My dad was a big Man United fan. Yeah. Okay. As a kid, we were growing up with Skulls, Beckham, Giggs, Keane. Oh, I'm going to drop. Excuse me, I'm going to drop one in now. Yeah. I've had four skulls in my pub. Oh. Uh, you've not had any problem. Yeah, I know. Yes, Scozy, the best midfielder Did ever. Did you fly from Edinburgh? Yeah, yes. Yeah, oh, I fly from Edinburgh. Scottish. Yeah. Scots are everywhere. Kevin the Scots will be a good pal. I'll give him a big shout a little bit later on. He, uh, you know that lady. Um, he said it's actually blowing gales back home. Oh, it's supposed to be miserable. Yeah, thing, so. absolutely horrendous. Absolutely horrendous. Right, that's uh, your favourite player. Yeah. What, what about a poor signing? The, one of the worst signings that you know, whether it's Saint Mirren or whether it's Motherwell. Let's pick one of those two clubs for, for, for the for the teams I play. Yeah, this, for the no, team. Been a few. Oh, oh, yeah, for the teams you play for. Um, I would probably say. But you're not playing now, so it's okay. Yeah, okay, that's fine. Uh, one of the worst signings we had was a poor. He was uh, actually, funnily enough, he came to Saint Mirren uh, off the back of playing for. I think we should have played for Huddersfield in the Premier League. Huddersfield Terry, yeah. I can't even remember his name. No. Um, he wasn't that good then. He was, honestly, he was fucking shocking. Oh, sh- can you swear? No, you can't swear. Oh, sorry. Sorry. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> he, was, he, was, he, he was poor. He was very poor. Yeah, he, was, he was the other side. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, should we get off, should we get off that one? Let's move on. Creamy, he's going to get me shot, son. Absolutely unbelievable. <laughs> right, listen, right, let's go for the next one. Right. The best game you've ever played in for St. Mirren. Best game I played for St Mirren was probably we played. It was actually during the COVID season, which is not great for atmosphere. And stuff okay, like that, but it was the uh, quarter final of the Scottish Cup. Yeah, or better Five Cup. We played Rangers. And, uh, yeah, we beat them one 0 Then they scored just before the end of the game, and then about thirty seconds left, we scored. No we way. Two runs. Oh, that was probably a, a big game for us. All oh, my teddy bear friends won't be liking yeah, this. They'll probably remember that game. They won't remember. They'll go, Webby you should have given an idea. Yeah. Oh, buddy. Listen, you lose, you lose, my friend. <laughs> so why not to the pace? It never happened often. So. Don't know. Mother well. Yeah, Motherwell. Motherwell, this game, this game is probably the game. Rangers fans are going to get Oh, dear. We beat Rangers in the semi final. 3 0. Yeah. Uh, that was a fun That was a uh, You've been to and played in. First away round of Trafford. You played there? Yeah, played there in the FA Cup against. For who? Yeah, I did for Cambridge. Are you joking? You played for Cambridge? Of course you did. So that was the, definitely the best away round. Your name drop, I don't like it. Your name drop it now, oh, sorry. Aren't you? Sorry. Sorry. I did. <laughs> How many fans of Cambridge United were there? Do you know? Do you remember? I'm not sure. I know there was 79,000 there. Oh, well, that's good. You must have loved it. It was class, mate, honestly. It was as a United fan walking out. What, what was the score? They beat us 3 0. 3 0. 3 0. That was probably good, actually, wasn't it? Yeah. Um, which club do you dislike the most? Probably Man City. Um, yeah. I mean, they're, they're an unbelievable football team, but to be honest with you, I get bored watching them. I get bored of them. They're too classy. The ball, right? back. Left, right, left, right, forward, yeah. back, yeah. Do you know what's funny, right? I, I, Fan of watching the Premier League or the Champions League, I'd, ra- I'd genuinely rather watch a Scottish football game just because it's more. You're joking. There's more going on there. There's more going on. And everyone's got, seems to have a chance to, like, even when you play Silicon Rangers, yeah. you know, it's a small chance that you're going to win the game. Yeah, yeah. City play against yeah. Bournemouth. City have got slack. Well, you say that on the board. I think uh, the board would beat them at um, the start of the season. The Cherish uh, down in Boston. No, they did. <laughs> Bournemouth beat Man City, that's put you to shame, isn't it? <laughs> Bournemouth beat them, I think, 2-0. That shows you how much I know about And I remember ball. Trippier going over to the uh, to the Man City fans after a holiday. There you are. See, coming out, mate. Coming out, mate. Oh, no, that was Newcastle, wasn't it? 
Oh, it's not getting the seas wrong now. <laughs> no, that was true. That was it. Oh, no, they won 1-0. It was 1-0. Newcastle lost 2-0. Neither of us. Oh, neither of us. We're both useless today, aren't we? Hey, look, what's that say? Kelso. Kelso. Looks like Kelso, doesn't it? Well, yeah, yeah, if you do. Well, it's year, isn't it? Dear, it'd be quite a lot of Well, second favourite team. Second favourite team after Man United. I like Newcastle. Like oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, reason why? Both my ex will support Newcastle. Okay. Newcastle fans always remember. And Newcastle showed me how to Yeah. I think our bonus is going to come off in a minute. This wind is unbelievable. I've got to keep my hat on. Um, fans you dislike the most? Fans I dislike the most. Is that a tough one or not? No, I'm probably the hardest fans. Campbell, yeah? Yeah, they're horrible. Horrible. Uh, horrible. I mean, it makes for a great atmosphere, but as a collective, yeah. they're just, they say so. I've got a, I've got a good friend of mine, uh, Ibi John, in the village. Yeah. Lovely, lovely fellow with Sheena. Anyway. He does the um, sticky 30 sometimes down in Monte Cristo's. Yeah. And when he picks a heart out, horrible hearts. That's what he said, yeah. Heart yeah. Thing, yeah. Exactly. That's what he Let's go back up there. Busy ending, eh? It's a bit, it's a bit bloody blowy, isn't it? Listen, if you just joined the show, Webby Sports Rider here in sunny Tenerife. Look at that. Absolute quality. And we've got an ex football professional player, so he tells me. Tatey, <laughs> have a look at you. Yeah, you're you know? still kids. Have a look. <laughs> right, let's turn it you around. You got it the right way, or not? No, I'm not flipping, no. Let's do it that way. Come on, turn it around. There we go. There he is, Tatey's on. Come on, Tatey, you're on. <laughs> it was me, they didn't want to see me. They sent me enough, haven't they? Oh, you're the solid. Oh, you're having a laugh, ain't you? Right, come on, Tatey. Um, player. One of the best players to ever sign for St. Mirror and while you've been there. While I was there. Um, Probably between two, J either Jamie McGrath, who plays for Aberdeen now, he's okay. a fantastic football player. What, what position does he play? Centre midfield. Okay. Centre midfield. He's a great football player. Yeah. Uh, or a lad called Keanu Bakas, who is uh, he's still at St Moon, but he's an Australian kid, and uh, yeah. he's got a good chance of going pretty far in football, I think. Okay. Super. Right, listen, I'm going to skip that 11, number 11 question for various reasons, I will come back right to the end. Right, listen, there's, there's always one question that Terry, they all ask. One answer. Yep. Messi or Ronaldo? Ronaldo. Oh. <laughs> Terry! Terry! Webb is in, son. <laughs> Unbelievable. Webb is in with Ronaldo. Ronaldo. Most of them like Messi, but it's starting to come round to Ronaldo now. Yeah, Ronaldo's the man. And the reason, they, they say that um, he chucks his dummy at the prime, which we know he has done, but the point is question is, he can jump, he can do anything, he's still as fit as a butcher's apron, isn't he? And he's a red, isn't he? Oh god, yeah, I never thought of that. <laughs> oh, I'll flip it. I'll take you doing my head in you. Oh, yeah, and he's a real. I'll, 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 I'll be back on the show, guys. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you will. Do you rate Gareth Southgate? No, useless. God, I'll tell you what. Useless as a player. Though. You're, de you're definitely. Yeah, he wasn't that good. It's, it's uh, Villa, was he? Yeah. Listen, I don't think. For me, if you're an international manager, right? Yeah. And I, I don't know. How, you know, he knows more about football than I do. Yeah, of course. But pick the best players who are playing. In form, that's okay. what I would do. Yeah, uh, but he yeah. just seems to pick the same players. Like no matter how they play, he just picks them because he's played for England before. It's like pick the ones that are playing well. Well, obviously, the, it's it is your it is the international break this week, and yeah. my good pal Mick. Uh, Mac and Mick Sunder, man. He said, Webby, you've got to do a ballot saying why is it international? What is it? We, you know, we've got to get rid of these friendlies and what have you. Yeah. Um, obviously, you played. Um, I lost 4 0 to the Holland, didn't you? Did you, did you watch yeah, that game yeah. by any chance? No, I don't see that. No, don't think they played that well. We didn't play. Well. Uh, but Holland has been in a bit of a turn, turmoil the last few years. Yeah. But they're starting to turn it around. They've got DP up front, they've got, still got Van, uh, the captain of um, Liverpool playing. There's, there's some cracking players there. So, again, at the end of the day. Always a good football. Yeah, of course they were. Of course they were. And if you remember um, Seedorf. Seedorf, yeah. But he has to. Uh, don't tell me you played against him. No, I played oh. against David. Oh, oh Edgar David. Yeah, oh, you played against him. Who was that? Can you remember who was that? Um, he was at Barnet. Barnet, yeah, Barnett, yeah, yeah. Barnet straight in. Do you know a funny story about that? Yeah, it's, go on. He was the manager at Barnet at the time. Yeah, I he remember. Played, and he obviously he played with number one on his back, right? So an outfield player never plays with that, do they? No, no. But he made all the lads, when they called for the ball, they had to, uh, they had to call him Sir. No way. So when they asked him for a pass, they'd be like, sorry, pass the ball. Oh my and god. It was honestly just the funniest thing ever. Who did you play for then? Uh, okay. Cambridge. Oh, Cambridge United, yeah. yeah. yeah.
Did you like your time in Cambridge? Loved it, mate, yeah. Who was, who was the manager then? Uh, a boy called Richard Money. Oh, okay. yeah. No, that, ring, that rings a bell. Dickie Dosh. Who did he play for? Uh, can't Richard Money, yeah, yeah, yeah. No. But he was, a good, he was a good manager. He um, got us promoted. Yeah. He done a good job. Um, women's football. Do you watch it? Don't watch it, no. Same as. Probably that's, the, that's, less, the less that's, I say about this, the better. Oh, dear. Yeah, yeah, no, for sure. Listen, skill level, right. They've, some of the women have got really good skill level, they're good with the ball, but it's a different sport for me. Yeah, no, it's completely different. And I don't mean that in a bad way. It's no, just, of course. It's, yeah. I think a lot of the women would say that themselves. I think. Yeah, I think you're right. They would say, like, we are good football players, but if we play against the men, it's a little bit different. Joey Barton's on his own little club. You're not, you're not watching, do you, when he's acting? Oh. No, not seen that was a question. No, another of mine, but uh, he is very, very controversial, isn't he? Yeah. Joey Barton. Do you know what? He's allowed to say what he thinks. Yeah. People have just got to, if they don't agree with it... Just don't watch it. Don't, just don't watch it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, simple, I agree, I agree. Harry Maguire, would you have him in your team? No. Yeah, no. I mean, I think he's a good football player. He's a, he's done really well, but I think, as a Man United fan, yeah. I don't think he's going to have to play for No? That's okay. just me. I think he's got experience, that's the reason why Gareth Southgate's got him. Same as Dean Henderson. He did not make him uh, the captain, he no, he didn't make him captain, he only made captain because obviously um, the right full back still didn't come off injured. Oh, okay, yeah. And we think, <laughs> we were talking... Are you, are you in Walker? <laughs> oh, I've got to get out there. Oh, oh. Listen, you know, it's you, I've had one bottle of beer, it's all about. Oh, unbelievable, isn't it? You're making me nervous. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, Walker, Carl Walker. Yeah, is he quick? Is he Oh, we, we think, I was talking last night to somebody, that he might have um, chickened out on Saturday. Was it Saturday? Yeah. Oh, he came off injured, didn't he? Yeah, he yeah. came off injured, and, and we looked at him and think, has he dummied it? You know I, mean? I wonder if a lot of the lads do that. I think how many games they play there. You know what I mean? It's squad yeah. on their body. And the training. A lot of the, like you just said there, a lot of these international friendlies. Are but they get, but they get, but we're getting more injuries. Why are we getting more injuries? Because we're fitter, and they get, are they getting too fit? They're just playing more games, mate. Is that what, is that what it's double is? I would say so. Yeah. Well, that question got me. Right, listen, I'm going to give one or two shout outs. Yeah. Big shout out to me, good pal, uh, Liam Grimshaw. Grimmy, love you, big man. And what about you saying to Grimmy? Yeah, love him, mate. He's the, uh, he's. <laughs> Yeah, he's one top of the man. Best. One he of the best. Yeah, he's one of the. I remember, listen, I've got to tell you a quick story. I told uh, Tatey just now. I remember he came up to my village uh, a few, three, four years ago. And uh, she used to come in the world famous garden bar. And come on, let's go see her. Come on. He's, he'd come in the world famous garden bar with his mum, dad, and his brother. All big Burnley fans. Let's get that. Oh. Yeah, that's, that's right. Boy. Yeah, all big Burnley fans. And uh, he came over for a, for a jolly, and we invited him down to my manor, then he came to So we went for an Indian. So if you go for an Indian, you eat an Indian, don't you? Well, usually, yeah. What does Grimmy eat? Fish, cake and chips. <laughs> Fish, cake and chips. He never had any sauce. I thought, what? I thought, no, don't say it on air. Unbelievable. And I, don't you want anything? No, just fish, cake and chips. That's yeah. all he had. He doesn't like anything. No. Sauces, nothing. Miserable. You give him pie chips. Not even beans, mate. No, Pine no, no. Holder. But I think Dawn used to do him, um, he used to love corned beef. Uh, corned beef from sandwiches and baguettes and toasters in the garden, but unbelievable. Yeah. Right, Grimmy, that's your shout out, big Legend, man. Legend, mate. And good luck to Dundee United for the end of the season. You've got to win the league and beat Wraith Rovers. Are they, are they still going to play them? Yeah, I think they play them actually this weekend. Is it this weekend? Yeah. Massive game. So, big game for them. So. Massive, Fingers massive. Grimmy, get it done. Is it home? I think they are at home, mate. I eh? think they're at home. Yeah. Tannadice, isn't it? Yep, that's the one. Okay. Uh, the what, what sort of um, what sort of uh, crowd do they get? Do they get 10, 12? Uh, not bad, yeah. They've got a good following, like. Yeah, um, yeah. It's a good stadium. Good stadium. It, look, it looks good. Yeah, it it's look, a nice good yeah, yeah. to play at, like. So. Um, another big shout-out to my good pal, Kevin the Scotsman. I spoke to Kevin this morning because I know you're a big, big uh, St. Mirren fan right, of the Benji yeah. boys. And um, the thing is with Kevin, he's uh, a massive YouTuber comes across here everybody knows him he sees him goes all around the bars the restaurants he got 60 to 70 thousand followers i look forward to seeing him very very soon and what he said was "Webby, do me a favor ask him a couple of questions doesn't matter now now the first thing he said was steve robinson yep he's been the manager at motherwell and st Mary and st Mary, both of mm -hmm. between me you four walls and everybody else in the world did you get on with him it was 
we had a we had a good relationship, but there was probably times where he never put me in the team when I probably thought I should have been playing. Yeah, and I think as well, others thought I should have been playing as well. Um, but doesn't every player think that when they when they get dropped or? Yeah, they do. They do. I'd, I'd probably say now I've got a better relationship when now I don't play. Yeah, like we get on brilliant and. We got on brilliant when I played anyway. It was just oh, probably no. more so me being a player and yeah, yeah, yeah. being in the huff because I wasn't playing or whatever. Yeah, because yeah, yeah. What I will say about him though is, when he first came to Motherwell, yeah, uh, he was fiery, like hot-headed, like used to go off his rocker, and he went away, managed down south, came back up, and he's got a much better balance now. Could you? We talked a bit off air. Can you remember the day that uh, you came over the Tenerife? With Motherwell, with Grimmy and everybody. <laughs> yeah. So we, and, and we, you, you go on. And you invited me. You two invited me up to. It wasn't T three. It was the other training centre up by the crematorium, actually. Yeah. And I do remember. So we had we had go a training on. session up there, and obviously Robbo doesn't know that Webby's coming up. But me and Grimmy have said, "Oh, come and watch training." So he's come up, and we're jogging around, warming up, and I'm getting absolute pelters from Webby on the side, just shouting over like, "Keep up, Tatey, old boy!" I was, wasn't I? Because you were at the back. <laughs> you were, you were at the back. Your face and butcher's apron, and you were at the back. Wasn't I was you? at the back, and, and I, I was like effing and blinding, saying, "I'm warming up, Webby. Give it a rest." Yeah, I'll give you the some manager. Lesson. The manager must have thought, "Who the hell's this guy?" There was one or two other um, Motherwell players. One I knew. Didn't he? One go to Coventry. Uh, yeah, he did. Andy Rose. Yeah. Andy Rose. You would have known Rosie from. Yeah. He's actually assistant manager of Seattle Saunders now. He's over the Seattle, yeah, yeah. Yeah, in America, yeah, so we say, he was a good lad. You talk about um, America, we've got um, Haji Wright, who obviously is American. Yeah. And um, we bought him for something like um, eight, nine million, and he's just starting to play well. Um, Let me not... ask you a question. What, what do you think for the semi-final for Cov? Cov United? Oh, dear me, listen. They've got oh, a chance. Listen, we've got a 10% chance against Man United, of course we have. Um, if they're playing at their best, we have no chance. If yep. we're playing at our best, and they have to be playing at their worst for us to, to obviously to be there or thereabouts. We beat Wolves away 3-2, obviously, in the quarterfinals, which is a phenomenal resource. Just to get to Wembley is fantastic for the supporters, for Mark Robbins, for the, yep. new, for the new owner, Doug King. Mm -hmm. He's put his money where his mouth is. Um, They're on Yo the up, aren't they? Yeah, the the Yocker is now, who obviously we bought for small money. He's at Sports Oh. He's at Sports in Lisbon. He's scoring goals for fun. He basically has more assists, more goals, or everything put together uh, than any other um, attacking player in in, uh, in Europe. Yeah. And with him, you see, we got, I think, it's a 12 to 15% sell-on clause. And you've got uh, Chelsea, Arsenal, AC Milan, all after him. Are they all after him, aren't they? Yeah, they're all yeah. after him. And with the playoffs, it's going to be difficult. I yeah. think the top five are already sorted, with West Brom being number five. And you've got Hull, us... Preston, Norwich City were flying, so it's going to be tough. It's going to be, tough. but listen, at the end of the day, we got a chance, haven't exactly. we? You're at the right end of the. Table, Let's get back to Kevin the Scotsman. He always yep. said to me, "Can you ask him about Jim Goodwin?" He liked Jim Goodwin, and he, he shouldn't have been sacked. Did you know him very well? Yeah, he was good. Um, he actually took me to St. Mirren. He was really good. Oh, he took you there. Yeah, so I still speak to Jim and uh, his assistant Sharpie. Yeah. Um, they obviously done really well at St. Mirren. Got us. You know, going well in the league, and then they went. He went to Aberdeen from there, which he yeah. struggled a little bit with. Yeah. And then he's kind of come back with Dundee United. So, I really hope they can get promoted for for him and get up into the. Well, Wraith yeah, Rovers were were. I think he's right near East Fife, isn't it? Yeah, it's not far. Because when I used to have the East Fife owner in, he always had a little bit of um, frack up between East Fife and Wraith Rovers. But they have done well. They're only a small club, aren't they? Yeah, they are. Yeah. And yeah, what they they've done to be second in the um, championship is fantastic. Yeah, yeah. It's a good running, like it's a good league. It's it's a lot better than our... Celtic or Rangers. Who's going to win the league? I'm going to go with Rangers. I think. You think so? Yeah. Yeah, I think they'll pick them. I think it'll come down to the old firm game, but I think. I just think Rangers will do it this year. I have I have quite a few Celtic fans. But I have a lot of Rangers fans. You know, big Paul Stewart, Jim Donaldson. Mm -hmm. um, I've got I've got a good pal, um, uh, John uh, John from Kilsyth. Yep. He's he has the he's a butcher, and I tell everybody when I do a Scottish roundup, he has the um, the cross uh, butchers in Kilsyth. Anybody goes in there, go get yourself that Webby ten percent discount. <laughs> Let me tell you something, he will put 20% on top before you get a 10%. That's how tight he is. So, Big John, when you get all right, this man Tatey yeah, and his family, up. get in there. I'm telling you, get some discount for a nice bit of beef and a bit of lamb. But you don't bring me anything over now, do you? So that's why I'm going to smash you. But <laughs> apart from that, you've got a nice little business 
Yep, back on. So give yourself a great plug, please. What yep. do you do and where it is? So just obviously retired from football, set up my own business, Adversity Fitness, which is on the t-shirt there. And it's just uh, one to one PT or online coaching. So if you want to get fit, then I'm your man, would you say so, maybe? Yeah, well, with any shadow of a doubt, looking at you now, I don't want you to take your top off, then you'll obviously surprise me. Um, so, how do they find your fitness? Yep, so I've got a social media on Instagram, Adversity um, Fitness page, so just go on there and give me a message. And give you a message on there? Okay, super. Just surprise how many people are getting fit now, aren't they? Yeah, definitely, man. I mean, so, I used to be fit as a butcher's apron, as you say, many years ago, but now I've lost it down the pub. Bottles of iron and it is what it is. Um, any big shout outs for you, my friend? No, mate, just uh, all the best to uh, obviously former clubs I've played for. Hopefully, they have a good end to the season. Uh, I'd love it if St Mirren got into Europe, uh, into the top six, and uh, obviously the same with Motherwell. Are they really playing well? Yeah. Are they playing well enough, St Mirren? Yeah, mate, they're they're pretty much there. So if yeah. you can get that's probably the next step for Robbo is to, you know, he got us in the top six last year. Yeah. Um, which is the first time in St Mirren's history. history and then to go on again and get into Europe would be great and so it proves he's a good manager he's a very good manager he's one he, of the one of the best tactical managers yeah, I've ever had he, he comes across quite stern when I watch him on the sidelines or you watch him and listen to him speak he, he, he doesn't have that he has that very authoritative doesn't he voice in whatever he, do, do you know what I love about him yeah he, all he expects is that you give 110% yeah. and if you do that and you play shit yeah. sorry we've done no, it again no, that's, that's he'll, okay, uh, you know, he'll be disappointed but he knows that he'll give 100% yeah, yeah, it's, when, sure. it's when people don't run or you know yeah. well, Grimmie, you can have all the talent in the world yeah, yeah. but running's free right isn't it? yeah for sure but, but Grimmie, Grimmie listen we love him a bit don't we? you know I couldn't believe you know, a couple of weeks ago what happened but at the end of the day Grimmie get yourself sorted um, I know you're a great player get Dundee United back in the Premiership, I'll be watching it every single week and um, I'll give Robbo a bit of a call and I'll say uh, he needs a bit of a wage increase, all right? Because that's the sort of contacts <laughs> I've got. Tatey getting sorted, yeah, you're not wrong, right? Man. Listen, um, listen, I've had an absolute fantastic hour, it's been super. I could go for another two to be honest with you. Um, <laughs> cheers, so mate. You, so, you, so you've done Cambridge United, yep, you did a bit of Tamworth as well, yeah. I was, I was at Tamworth at the start, I think you've turned off there, but no, I think, um, I think what's happened, I think the batch is gone. What do you reckon? No, we're all <laughs> Hey, should we take it off? Listen, I think the battery's gone. Let's talk to it. Here. Yeah. We're, we're back. Still. We're back. We're still going. The battery stayed for, short, for a short while. So you're in Tamworth. Tamworth, and then I went to Cambridge from there. Yeah. And then Grimsby at Motherwell. And finished the So, yeah. Enjoyed my time as I played, but on to the next thing, you know. It's only 34, you're 35 in uh, December the 2nd, big man. Yep, 35, so. Yeah. Getting on a wee bit, but All right. we're getting there. Cheers, big Cheers, well, guys. I'm going to shake your hand. Cheers, fella. Absolute Thanks, quality, man. quality. Listen, as you all know, that is Richard Tate. Ex Cambridge United, ex St Mirren, his last club, and Motherwell, superb. Just watch this on Webby Sports Roundup. Hey, I used to say roundabout, it's just Webby Sports Roundup. And don't forget, if you like what you see, you like what you hear, subscribe for free, comments down below. Kevin the Scotsman, he's got you, and you, Grimmy. Take care, and I'll see you soon. Bye for now.